strike. In this video, we're gonna take a little cheap USB or PS2 style trackball, hook it up to our Raspberry Pi, and set it up using both MAME 2003 and MAME 2016. The same tutorial should work on a computer or any other device that takes a USB port. And this unlocks a lot of games. I got it working for te uh, Tempest, which tends to work better on a spinner, but we're gonna get the trackball to work. Marble Madness, Centipede, Missile Command, and if you wanna play Golden T and all your other classic games, this is gonna work for you. And uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a nice add-on to any cabinet or retro gaming machine. And look what kind of mess we got ourselves in today. Hey, there it is. There it is, a trackball. Can you believe it? So you can see inside of it. Oh, you can even probably open it up, it looks like. Let's open it up. Cool. So you've got the three axis, and um, you've got a ball. Honestly, the ball itself is pretty cool. So this particular trackball is a green LED. If you just plug in the PS2 and you can get power straight out of, you know, the I'm actually gonna go to a USB, but there is the, all these cabling here that you can run a direct power supply to, and I think you can do some other things with the LEDs with that, but I went ahead and just removed mine altogether. And then here, just really quick, it does come with a set of screws, and you can see here you get a good full inch um, as far as what you can put this into. One thing I don't know if I said or not, but um, it is a PS2 style connector. So this happens to be a keyboard and a mouse connector. If you can find one without this part on it, it's just direct like that. You're good. But if you have a two into one, this works too. You just leave it empty there. Some of you have these hanging around. eBay, they're super cheap. You do need one of these though. So this is actually on the Raspberry Pi. You can see the trackball in the lower right corner. And I'm actually on Pixel Desktop right now. It's just not loading. But uh, this is a good way for me to check that my Raspberry Pi could sense this as a mouse. You can also do this on a computer, whatever you're plugging the trackball in, try to run it on a desktop application as a mouse, just to make sure whatever adapter you're using and the trackball itself is in still good working order. So for this next part, we wanna go ahead and find out what our, um, our IP address is. So I'm just going to what is my IP address you can also just go to your command prompt. You wanna find your IP so we can go ahead and network into our Pi and get to our configuration file. You can also do this via PuTTY as well, but this is the easiest way. Once you know your IP address, let's go back to the computer. Um, backslash, backslash, and then type in your IP address and go ahead and press enter. You can see I'm now in my Raspberry Pi. I can zoom in here. And I wanna to go to my configs. Inside my configs, I wanna to go to all, and then I wanna to go to Retro Arc Core Options. Now, yours might look different than this, but here are the main things we want. MAME 2003 is one of the primary uh, emulators for trackball games. Um, you'll notice I have these three that have been added, and I'll go ahead and write these in the description as well. Mouse device equals mouse, tr uh, dial device equals mouse, trackball device equals mouse. And then I went ahead and I updated that for MAME 2016 as well. Mouse device equals mouse, mouse trackball device equals mouse, mouse dial device equals mouse, and trackball device equals. So in MAME 16, there's, there's four of them, okay, to enable the mouse. Now, I don't know if in 2003 do I have an enable mouse? No, and it worked just fine, as is. So those are my configs. Um, as long as you, I had to add those in for this to work for me. Then you wanna go ahead and exit, make sure you save it. Mine was already saved. And now let's go back to the Raspberry Pi. Let me just do Arcade Classics here. If you press A really fast on your controller here, you'll go to the login and you can select your emulator. I'm gonna try to run on MAME 2016 for all these games because that's a newer emulator. And, uh, oh, don't wanna do that. And then go ahead and launch. So I'm running an Xbox 360 controller and then I have my trackball here. I'm still using my Xbox 360 controller really briefly. 
I just want to go ahead and check one more thing, which is if you held select an X, make sure you go over here and mouse is enabled. In-game mouse, make sure this is on. Before you exit, go back, 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 configuration, save your current configuration. And then I'm gonna go ahead and quit because I'm gonna unplug my Xbox 360 controller now and just run off these two things. So when you boot your first game, the only thing you really need to do is hit the um, your right trigger, input in general, and then your player one controls, and then you just wanna make sure your mouse is set to mouse, and then your trackball here is set to mouse X and mouse Y, but you can see I can redo it. X is just left to right, and Y is just up and down. Just scroll it up, and you're good. And then go ahead and grab out. Saved them all. San Francisco, Paris, UK, Bangkok. So here the sound was kind of weird with Tempest, but um, you do need to update your controls in Tempest in MAME 2016. I just hit tab, or in this particular gamepad on my Puma box, I just hit my right trigger, 
and then go to input for this game and then go ahead and where I'm doing the analog controls. Uh, either set it to mouse X or mouse Y. You can decide whether you want to do the X or the Y. Um, if you do X and you know you could do X and Y, you can actually map that, um, but it'll really throw you off because it'll sometimes it'll register for X, sometimes it'll register for Y, and you'll get really thrown off by that. So um, I found mouse X just to be fine. And uh, there you have it. That trackball's working just fine. I think the next thing to do is to put it in an arcade stick or do something with it as far as mounting to get it closer to you know other keys. Um, but that's about it. A great add-on. I, I think it's a good price. It's a good item. I know that they make $100 trackballs that have way better throws on them and are way better for like golfing games and things. But for something cheap to just kind of scratch your itch, I think this is a good option. But that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.